All right, guys, day eight. Weighted chin up, straight bar dip, and weighted pistol squat. So I changed it up a little bit today. So I did some weighted calisthenics, weighted chin up, felt pretty good. I haven't done those in a long time. So probably something I'm gonna throw in a little bit more frequently just to add a little bit of variety. Weighted pistol, haven't done those in a long time. Those felt pretty good. My legs were a little tired today from the squats I did yesterday. So I trained the pistol squat to like a five RPE. So I did about half as many reps as I, as I felt like I totally could. Overall felt pretty nice. So let's talk about repetition range. Now, as you know, I mostly train with high repetition basics. But I don't always train with high repetition basics. Sometimes I like to do unilateral stuff. Sometimes I like to do weighted stuff. And occasionally, occasionally I will play around with some skill work, but in general, skill work is not something I'm particularly interested in. I, I kind of like feeling like I got a workout. And so my weighted chin-ups today were in the eight to 10 rep range. My straight bar dip was in the 20 to 25 rep range and my pistol squat was around five reps. So I trained three very different repetition ranges. All three of these repetition ranges can build muscle, right? So I think it's been well established right now in the literature and as well as anecdotally that provided you put forth a high effort, meaning close to failure, any repetition range within reason can build muscle, okay? but they do have very different effects in terms of performance. So heavier strength training, such as those weighted pistols and even the uh, weighted chin up, they're gonna be much better at building maximum strength. The straight bar dip at that 25 rep range will certainly build some strength, but it's primarily gonna build muscle endurance. So say you want to incorporate multiple repetition ranges into your training. So how do you actually do that? Especially if you're training high frequency, it can get a little bit confusing. If you train low frequency, so say you're on like a push-pull leg split, it becomes pretty easy, right? So you could start your, say you're training calisthenics, you're going to start your pull day with some heavy weighted chins, and then you might go into some moderate repetition range pull-ups, then you might finish with some high repetition ring rows, something like that, right? So you work the entire rep repetition range over the course of the workout. If you're training high frequency, what you might do then is a sort of daily undulating periodization where you're cycling through intensities on a daily basis. So day one might be the heavy weighted chin up. Day two might be the light body weight ring row. And day three might be the moderate repetition range pull up. And you could continue to cycle through different repetition ranges and different exercises every day. I think what I'll do over the course of the next few weeks is I'll start adding a little more variety. So so you can see some of the other exercises that are available to you and um, how those fit into a program and how I, can, how I actually organize those. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you tomorrow.